So as we start walking towards the dome, I'm like, so how are we going to cheat to make sure we win? Because there's only three <laughs> spots, and I do not want to be embarrassed, Timbo. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys walk into the dome, and it's this beautiful, huge, like, it's like an above the stage hanging in, like, this magical orb is the axe of destiny, and it's, like, slowly rotating. And the six kobolds come on the stage, and they're all standing there, and then one of them gets up to the front, and he goes, Hello, my name is Jack. This is Jacoby, Jablinky, Jemima, Jaisaki, and Giuseppe. This is our band. We have drugs. We also sell dragons. And ash on the side. <laughs> One, two, three, Whoa. four. Oh shit, they're incredible. Their music is a drug. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Prepare to Dice, where a bunch of animators come together to play Dungeons and Dragons. I'm Raghav, your humble DM, and these. Hey, <laughs> it's Christine, playing Rocco, your very favorite bard. Hi, my name is Jagadi, and I play Poppy Seeds. Hey, everyone, I'm Andrew, and I'm playing Timbo Wainson, son of Wayne. Wainson, son of Wayne, Wainson, son of Wayne, Wainson, son of Wayne, son of Wayne. You can fade that off into oblivion. You can have that fade off. Oh my god. Join your friends on the table. Make a check if you're fable. Just fight on life and there's nowhere left to go. Feelings around you. There's like a mix of folk in there. They're like, one of them does a little dance. Uh, the one who's playing the piano stands up on the piano and dances on it. It's just, it's a whole production. You guys are like, fuck, how are we ever gonna follow this up? That is roughly how I'm feeling. <laughs> uh, another bird comes up to you. Uh, she's a blue bird. Uh, she comes up to you, she has a clipboard and she has like a, that microphone that comes up to the, from the ear to the mouth. She's like, <laughs> oh, hello everyone. My name is Robin. Hi, uh, you guys are Rocco and Co, right? I just, I just got the ping. And you can see like whatever she's, uh, Lady Kaka's writing on the, whatever she's writing on the board over there is getting like written on her little slate as well. It's all like magically connected. So the audition is right now. Um, you're gonna, you're about the fourth on the list. The good thing is if you get through the audition process, you get uh, access to the melodrome to, to practice whenever you want. Because otherwise we keep it locked up. So you wouldn't be able to access it otherwise. But otherwise, uh, if you get through the audition, you can get it like any time of day, any time of night, you have like full access. Oh, and you all get vanity vans, uh, like a little caravans, if you get through the audition process. Then... Thank you so much, Robin. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Robin. I have one, one question, and then I like, I like take a big sigh and like swallow my pride. Would it help my, uh, my band's odds if I told you that, um, that uh, Wayne up there is my <laughs> dad? I'm Timbo Wayneson, son of Wayne. Does that? You know, or I'm just letting you know. It doesn't have to. You don't have to tell me now if that changes anything. But just, just letting you know. You know, and I know nepotism. Some people are for it. Some are against it. And, you know, it's not. It's not even a big deal. Controversial take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not. I'm, I just work here. Ah, uh, yeah, um, gotcha, gotcha. It's not my department. Um, I don't know if I want to touch this. This is a lot of, a lot of baggage here. Anyway, but Wayne is also one of the contestants, so it's not like he doesn't. You know, decide who wins. He's also like this. You just gotta be him. If you can't, I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> she, she, she's like slowly receding. <laughs> I, I'd also like to slowly recede and then just be washed over with self-loathing <laughs> for a moment. Seemed worth a shot. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Great way to start our performance. Robin, can I ask really quickly how many other bands we're going to be going up against in the next few minutes? So like, um, we have um, one, two, three, four, four other bands that have signed up right now. We just have to be better than one other the like turn to the group. All right. So I'm looking at both of you. I know you have never performed a day in your life, but today's the day you perform and it really counts. You just got to be better than one other band. One other band. Can you be better than one other shitty band? I hope so. Just like slap them like get pumped, get hyped. Think about all the times you're, you didn't have your father's love. Now let's go. Ooh.
Uh, I'm gonna just like sort of go through all the other bands. So uh, the next band that comes is called Cow People, and it's three cow sisters, and they play like classical Indian Indian instruments, and they play that, and it's like very beautiful and very nice. They're all a nine, so they're okay. Of course, cows. Boo! Or should I say, moo? Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Then the next band is called Shufufnufnuf <laughs> and it's two gelatinous cubes with flutes stuck to them. So they get a five. So no sound comes out of the flutes. They're just kind of moving there for like a whole two minutes. They're just there and you're just like... You know, I kind of liked this time for myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a little derivative, I'll say. <laughs> uh, and then it's you guys. You're the next one. All right. <clears throat> mic check, mic check, one, two, three. <laughs> uh, so you guys get on the stage and you see uh, just just in front of you, there's a little table with what you assume are the current judges. Uh, there's a, a dragonborn man who's like part dragon and he's wearing this like really good suit, like suave green suit. He's uh, there and then Lady Kaka is the other judge. So these are the two judges that you have to impress. Yeah. I'm surprised there's not like a Simon Cowell who's wearing a cowl on his head. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Just seem, yeah. Just seemed like it would fit the bill. I guess that could be the, the other guy? Yeah. dragonborn. Yeah. I don't know why, but Simon feels like a lizard. <laughs> no offense to all the Simons out there. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Simon. <laughs> Our one fan named Simon. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna very subtly like flip a gold co my lucky coin. Oh. oh Actually, not subtly at all. I'm doing it very dramatically for the look. Oh, yeah. And then like, hello, all you beautiful people. This is Rocco and Co. And we're here to rock you all the way to your core today. A one, a two. Uh, do we have to perform now? <laughs> you don't have to even make a performance check because you used your lucky coin, which means it's a nat 20. A one, two, three, four! <laughs> Can I imbue? I've got a little mirror. Can I do the magical imbuing and do like a five foot radius light around Rocco as she's singing? She's got a spotlight on her and it's yeah. beautiful. Her head is flowing in the wind. <laughs> We're so good, we're so good, we're so good, we're so good, we're so good. Oh, we're so good, we're so good, we're so good, we're so good, we're so good. That's beautiful. <laughs> and you are, you're just so good. And even Poppy is like using like a little bit of magic to create like music and lights and everything is just sort of coming together. It's amazing. Yeah, we make Rocco glow. And you see as it ends, Lady Kaka is fully crying, her like <laughs> mascara is running down her feathers and uh, the dragonborn man stands up and is just like, he's clapping, <laughs> he's giving you a standing ovation, he's like, this is the best performance I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like dramatically floating in the air the whole time like, Ooh. <laughs> operatic and shit. <laughs> I mean, you guys have nailed it. Clearly, you've nailed it. Uh, as you guys step off the stage, make uh, one of you make up a, a, a perception check. I've only got plus two on that one. I have plus five. Oh, that's you then, Poppy. Yeah, I have plus two. Oh, I got an 18, so 23. Nice. Holy shit. I gotta raise the difficulty for things. You guys are Woo! doing so well. Uh, so as you guys are like getting off the high of doing so well, like and performing together for the first time as a band, this is like amazing. Uh, but Poppy, as you step off, you see the next band that's stepping up is like a goth band and they're all like really goth looking. But the main, the front front man of the band is, it's the fairy that you guys fought. Oh. They tried to steal our names, that person. Yeah, that guy, that guy, yeah. But he's like all, all, all goth. Uh, oh. He doesn't really see you, but he he's the one who's getting up. And his name was not Alarm, <laughs> right? Can I, I think Timbo, Timbo sees him and says like, Alarm. <laughs> We need to sabotage this. That's true. He's a cheater. And we're we're cheating too, or we want to, but he's he's like the bad kind. <laughs> I have that illusion spell. You know what I wanna do? When they're performing, I wanna create an awful sound. What is the most <laughs> awful sound? Like something getting slaughtered, I guess. <laughs> Probably. I want to make it sound like it's coming out of whatever music they are playing, like it's their uh, choice. The thing that gets slaughtered maybe because there's a dragon man there, right? And a bird woman. <laughs> so one of those things. Oh, I wanna, I like look at Poppy sort of like, who, who are you? <laughs> I'm a vicious little bitch when it comes to revenge. <laughs> Whoa. Poppy make a stealth check. I got a 13 plus 2, 15. Uh, so I rolled inside checks for the judges uh, and uh, 
Lady Kaga got a nine and the Dragonborn man got a nat one. So they are fully uh, believing your illusion. So they go up on stage and they start to play and each one of them hears their worst, like saddest thing that they think is would be the saddest sound. That's what they hear. And so they're just like, what the fuck is this? This is awful. And then the, the Dragonborn man stands up and he's like, stop this. Get them the fuck out of here. I never want to see this again. Horrible, terrible. You are an affront to music as it is. It's the worst thing I've ever heard. Get them the fuck out of here. He starts like <laughs> breathing fire. He's so upset. Sweet. Nice job, Papi. That's incredible. Yes. Oh, I didn't think they were that bad. <laughs> <laughs>